Hey there, welcome to day 39 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here. We are working on our SOAP framework, S-O-A-P, story, options, action. And today we're talking about the P in the SOAP framework, progress. Progress is how do we know what we did yesterday, the action that we took? How do we know if it's working or not? We ask ourselves a couple of questions and we can have a process for this. And I guess our process this month is going to just be to ask ourselves a couple of questions. Number one, what you do? Number two, what happened? Was it positive, negative, neutral? Don't know yet because you haven't seen an, an impact or an effect of what you did. And then what are you going to do next? Do you need to do more of what you did before? Do you need to tweak and change it a little bit to try something different? Or do you need to abandon it altogether and try something entirely different? So we want to know how are we going to measure it? How do we know how do we know if it worked or not? Is it our intuition? Are we going to go based on how we feel? Is it subjective? Is there a way we can find an objective measure as to whether it worked or not? So for example, and I'll share a little bit of mine. Yesterday, I picked among my options uh, a, to create a shared experience, to create a uh, traditions and, and shared experience. And so uh, we all, all four of us girls, my one sister lives where my mom is, but the other three of us, were going to travel down from Wisconsin to Texas to see my mom. So we're planning this trip. And uh, I would say we are definitely not making progress because it totally went backwards yesterday and sideways and, and crooked. So will we all four get there or not? No idea, but we'll work it out today because I'll take another action because yesterday's action was not 100% successful. So go do something with one of my sisters this morning and see if I can't tweak and patch and see what we can do to uh, make the situation what we want it to be or what most of us want it to be. So what's our action item today? Take the action step or you did the action yesterday. Today we're going to analyze was that action successful or not? Uh, and successful is going to be by your terms. Did it go in the direction you want it to? Is it starting to fill that gap or is it making the gap wider? In my situation, I think it made the gap wider, so I need to take immediate action to try to shrink that gap a little bit better between where I am and where I want to be with respect to my relationship with my sister. Uh, so that's our action today. Is there a way to measure it? And is there a way to measure progress going forward as we're working on this challenge? Because very seldom, at least in my vast experience with challenges and obstacles and setbacks and problems, have I immediately fixed it with the first action I've taken or or put in place a permanent solution with the first action I've taken. So this, like any other framework or process, is meant to be used over and over and over again in a cycle until we get the result that we want. All right, write up guide two, of course, and we have got, I don't remember whose story's there. I'm sorry, I should, I'm, I'm gonna have to start writing it down. <laughs> The night before, so I remember whose story I shared. But there is a story as well in Guide 2 demonstrating these uh, ideas. If I can help you anyway, please, please, please ask. Just reach out and ask. Otherwise, have fun with this. It's an incredibly powerful process, and we want to make it work for you. All right, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.